The movie begins with an all-women acrobatics class and an exam hall full of students. During the exam, a teenage boy named Bobby Crystal is struggling to write his answers. Bobby is the son of a wealthy businessman who wants his son to study French and attend a prestigious university. On the other hand, Terry Green is one of the women who are enthusiastically doing aerobics. Instead of focusing on his exam, Bobby keeps looking at the girls doing aerobics in the next room and forgets all the answers. After the exam, Bobby meets his friends Jack and Billy outside school. They plan their summer vacation plans. Since Jack and Bobby are still virgins, Billy promises to take them to a secret location where they can finally lose their virginity. At that moment, a beautiful girl named Rita shows up. She also happens to be Bobby's crush. Bobby approaches her and starts talking, but he can't pull himself together and tell her how he feels. The next day, the exam results are out, and Bobby's father, Mr. Crystal, calls him to his office. It turns out that Bobby has failed his exams, and his father is very angry with him. Mr. Crystal is especially angry because Bobby has done badly in French, which has made him ineligible for admission to a good college. As a punishment, Mr. Crystal tells Bobby that he needs to keep studying hard during the summer break and get good marks on the retake exam. He also demands that Bobby needs to get a score of at least 85% so he can go to Yale University, just like his father. Mr. Crystal also reveals that he has already hired a personal tutor who will help Bobby improve his French over the summer break. In the next scene, Bobby is swimming in the pool, and as soon as he comes out, he's greeted by his new French teacher, Terry. She politely tells him that they'll start their lessons from the next day. After that, Terry goes to Mr. Crystal's office, where he tells her about her duty to make sure Bobby scores 85% on the exam. To boost her morale, he offers to give Terry a $10,000 reward if Bobby scores more than 85% on his final exam. Hearing this, Terry gets excited and immediately accepts the challenge. The next day, Terry starts tutoring Bobby. She starts with the basics, but he doesn't seem interested in French at all. Instead, he says that he wants to study astronomy at UCLA, but is too scared to tell his father about it. Soon after, he starts asking Terry if she has a boyfriend. She refuses to answer, but Bobby threatens to not study properly if he doesn't get an answer. Terry forcefully reveals that she had a boyfriend in the past, but recently broke up with him. After that, Terry tells Bobby that she understands why he's afraid of his father, but he needs to perform well in his French exam regardless of where he ends up attending college. Bobby starts paying attention to the French lesson, and he starts making some progress with Terry's help. Later that night, Bobby is hanging out with his friends Jack and Billy. Billy takes them to a restaurant and talks to a waitress he knows to give some pleasure to the boys. The three boys head outside the restaurant, and after some time, the waitress Maria comes out too. Bobby gets a chance to get intimate with Maria and gets in the backseat with her. Maria starts undressing and kisses Bobby, but just when he starts enjoying himself, Maria's boyfriend shows up outside the restaurant with his whole biker gang. Maria knows she's in trouble, so she tells Bobby to run away from the place as soon as possible. Meanwhile, the biker gang starts getting violent with Jack, but thankfully Maria comes to his rescue. She starts arguing with her boyfriend, and the commotion distracts the bikers, giving Bobby and his friends a chance to flee from the situation. Later that night, Terry thinks that everyone in the house has fallen asleep, so she walks out of her room in a bathrobe and walks towards the swimming pool. She undresses completely and jumps in the pool to enjoy for some time. To her bad luck, Bobby is still awake and sees Terry naked in the pool. He's instantly captured by her gorgeous body and keeps spying on her by hiding behind the trees. After swimming for some time, Terry returns to her room and Bobby secretly follows her. He peeks inside from the window and sees her undressing and changing clothes. At this point, he realizes that he's falling in love with her. The next day, Terry starts tutoring Bobby again and gives him a writing assignment. When she goes away to get some water for herself, Bobby starts fantasizing about getting intimate with her. When she returns, he starts asking her about her age and where she learned her French. She responds that she's 29 years old and learned French because she studied at a French college. While talking, Terry unzips her jacket and Bobby gets a view of her gorgeous body again. 
After the class, Bobby meets up with Jack and goes to the aerobic center to spy on the beautiful girls while they exercise. The following day, Bobby attends a practice French exam that Terry prepared for him, and surprisingly, he scores good marks. After this, he asks Terry to take him out for lunch so he can practice his French practically over there. Since she has no reason to deny it, Terry agrees, and the two of them go to a fancy restaurant. While they are talking and ordering their food, Terry's ex-boyfriend Don suddenly shows up. He starts apologizing to Terry for his bad behavior and begs her to get back together with him. However, Terry bluntly refuses his proposal and clarifies that everything is over between them. While they talk, Don gets a phone call from his client and he answers while sitting at the table. Taking this opportunity, Terry and Bobby start walking out of the restaurant, but Don starts following them. Bobby starts his scooter so he and Terry can leave quickly and even though Don tries to chase after them, they manage to speed away from him. However, Don notes down the scooter's license plate on his notebook. In the next scene, Bobby is riding his scooter around the city at night when he notices a beautiful girl talking at the telephone booth. He stops and imagines himself making out with her right there. Later at night, he comes home and sees Terry swimming naked in the pool once again. He keeps looking at her while hiding behind the trees. After that, he decides to follow Terry back to her room once again, but loses her way on the way. Suddenly, Terry shows up from behind and startles him. She knows that Bobby is spying on her, so she gently scolds him for stalking her and suggests that he should respect her privacy. Despite the intense conversation, it's clear that both of them are attracted to each other. The next day, when it's time for Bobby's French class, he doesn't find Terry anywhere. He asks his mother about where his tutor is, and she says that she saw him going out with a man. A few moments later, Terry comes back in Don's car. Seeing this, Bobby feels very jealous because it looks like the two of them have reconciled. Later that night, Terry goes to meet Don at his house, but doesn't find him inside. She keeps wandering around the place for a while and hears some noises from the car. When she peeks inside, she's shocked to see Don getting pleasured by another woman. Don gets startled when he sees Terry and tries to explain everything, but it's too late. Terry feels cheated and walks away. After some time, Bobby comes home after another night out with his friends. As soon as he enters the house, he sees Terry sitting outside and drinking alcohol. He asks her if she's okay, and she tells him about Don cheating on her. Bobby tries to console her, so she kisses him on his cheek and goes for her routine swim in the pool. After finishing her lap, she's a little surprised to see Bobby waiting for her at the other end of the pool. Without thinking too much, she kisses him and drags him inside the pool. They swim together for a while and then go back to Terry's room where they get intimate with each other. Bobby spends the whole night in Terry's room and successfully sneaks back into his bedroom in the morning. He pretends to have studied all night and sleeps on the study table right before Mr. Crystal enters the room. He's convinced that his son is working hard for the French exam. In the next scene, it's time for Bobby's birthday and all his friends are enjoying outside. Terry is heading outside to join the party but gets stopped by Mr. Crystal who wants to talk to her. He asks about Bobby's French progress first and then suddenly asks Terry to spend a night with him. He offers a lot of money for it, but she refuses and says that not everything can be bought with money. The next day, Don comes to meet Terry at the house, but Bobby confronts him and tells him to go away. Later, Terry and Bobby go for a ride on his scooter and Don follows them around. He keeps apologizing, but Terry doesn't want to see him again. After some time, Bobby reads a book about different positions in bed so he can pleasure women. Suddenly, Rita approaches him and starts teasing him about what book he's reading. Bobby tries lying and says it's a mathematics textbook, but Rita snatches the book and sees that it's an erotic one. Bobby feels a little embarrassed, but Rita laughs it off. A few days go by, and Bobby's summer vacation is about to end soon. His French retake exam is also getting closer. During this time, his relationship with Terry keeps getting stronger. One night, Terry asks Bobby to end their relationship once he passes the exam, but he disagrees. He's starting to care deeply for her. However, things get worse when Mr. Crystal accidentally sees Terry and his son making out outside her room the night before his French exam. Mr. Crystal also has a crush on Terry, so he feels jealous seeing them like this. 
The next day, Bobby takes his exam and writes all the answers confidently. When he gets the results, both he and Terry are super happy to know that he scored 90%. When they return home, Mr. Crystal asks Bobby to come into his room alone and tells him that he had promised to give Terry a $10,000 bonus if he scored well. He tries to convince Bobby that Terry is putting in all this effort only because of her selfishness. Hearing this, Bobby feels devastated and betrayed. In a fit of rage, he lashes out at his father for always forcing his ideologies on him. He says that he's a grown-up who can make his own decisions, and before leaving, he also announces that he's going to UCLA, not Yale. Then, Bobby comes outside and confronts Terry for cheating on him. He also accuses her of being a hooker. Terry gets angry and slaps him first, but then tries to explain that she took the job for money, but her feelings for Bobby are real. However, he doesn't believe her at all and walks away. In this state of anger and frustration, he gets on his scooter and starts driving haphazardly on the road. However, he gets into an accident and crashes. This makes him realize that life is too uncertain and too short to hide his feelings. Later that evening, he goes to his old crush Rita's house and confesses his feelings for her. Surprisingly, Rita also reveals that she has always liked him and the two share a passionate kiss. In the last scene of the movie, Bobby approaches Terry just as she's about to leave. He apologizes to her for his allegations and promises to work hard on his French. Hearing this, Terry gets emotional and says that she'll never forget about him. She hugs him tightly and kisses him goodbye before getting in the cab and driving away. The movie ends with Bobby jumping in the air out of excitement as he's looking forward to enjoying the rest of his life. The moral of the story is to work hard and believe in yourself. Even if you think you can't score well in an exam or get a girl, all you need to do is take the chance. You never know. Things may turn out in your favor after all. And that's it for this movie recap. If you were Bobby, would you end your relationship with Terry because of what your father said about her? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, we're sure you'll like this one even more. Click now to watch.